Lake Anna is not your ordinary state park. It was once known as Gold Hill. Chief Ranger Lori Schuler escorts visitors to a semi-clandestine spot to pan for gold. And I'm gonna start to shake and agitate the material because I want the heavy gold to sink to the bottom. Those lucky enough to spot specks of gold will, however, leave empty-handed. All discoveries in the Virginia Park must remain on the premises. Potential prospectors do get a consolation prize, a free lesson on the benefits of gold. It's a reliable and constant conductor of electricity that does not oxidize. That makes it great for all of our electronics that we want to close up and never open. So don't go home and take things apart. <laughs> it's not going to make you rich. It's a thin coating. If you want to try to strike it rich in Virginia these days mining for gold, you're going to have to set aside the pan for a piece of equipment much more expensive. Paul Bush is Virginia's only licensed commercial miner and the first since the 1940s. 19th century miner's trash is his treasure, piled high in Goochland County. Any stone that was underground that they removed that was under ounce a ton, to them was garbage. Bush is going through those stones again with machines that he says can extract as much as $800 worth of gold a minute. But what about gold still in the ground? You can see just little specks of gold here and there. Geologist Thomas Ulrich has his eye on what he has cracked open in Buckingham County. It's a quartz vein. You can see it's about roughly two meters wide. This is as wide as it gets, uh, and it continues along. You can see in a few sparse outcrops here. This two-ton rock would yield nearly a couple of ounces of gold after extraction. At the current market rate, that would add up to nearly $4,000, but there's the unknown cost of actually getting it out of the stone. Gold-bearing veins of an ounce plus uh, grade, these have a value, you know, tens to hundreds of millions of dollars. Too early to say anything like that about anything uh, here uh, uh, at Buckingham, but um, we are very encouraged by, by what we're seeing so far. Ulrich acknowledges that the success rate of converting a claim into a lucrative mine is low, as not all that glitters is gold. But those who get bitten by the gold bug like to quote the financier of the industrial age, J.P. Morgan, who said, gold is money, everything else is credit. Steve Herman, VOA News, Gold Vein, Virginia.